Hi, we're at the beach. We're at uh, Olympic Hope Beach in Ravda, which is near Nessie Bar in Bulgaria. Uh, we got the Mini 2 with us. Um, we're all looking good, everything seems good, takeoff permitted. Um, we checked the area, there doesn't seem to be a no-fly zone. Um, so I think we're all good to go. Uh, I'm going to start the recording on the drone um, and do a takeoff with you know, a reasonable distance away from people. Um, of course, this is a sub 250 gram drone, so slightly better rules apply. Uh, but basically, bring the drone up to the camera, sort of show you around, see how it's doing. It's kind of accounting for a bit of a crosswind. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but hopefully you can see that on the camera. I don't want to... Oh, hang on, bring it back. Bring it up. Hopefully you can sort of see. Let me bring it across, right in front of the camera there. Now you get a good view of the beach around as we spin around. Move side to side, gimbal seems good. Maybe turn around that way. Just doing some sort of pre takeoff checks. Well, not takeoff, but lift off if you like, in a way. But yeah, everything's looking good. Um, it's a really great beach, Olympic Hope Beach. Um, you've got like kind of nice bars over that way. Uh, maybe I can use the drone to give you a bit of a tour. Um, so let's just kind of lift the drone forward, lift it up a bit. Got the camera down a bit so let's just have a look over there you've got kind of like the paid zone to bring you over so you can sort of see so you've got like a paid zone over here um, that's where you've got like kind of um, sun lounges and stuff it's um, eight lev which I think is around about like three pound fifty or four pound uh, for like a kind of deck chair over there not sure what it is in dollars uh, but you've got like a nice bar there, you've got a really cool beach. Um, this is the free zone that I'm in here, so you don't have to pay to come here. You can get an umbrella, bring like, you know, oh, we've got so seagulls, they're free, they come with the beach. Um, you've got kind of, <laughs> let's hope they're okay. Um, you've got like kind of the sea, the sea's free, you don't have to pay for that bit. Um, you've got kind of like nice sort of, yeah, like people with umbrellas and towels down. We've got a towel over here. Maybe I can sort of turn around to show you our towel. Um, just down by where, the, where, we're, where we're stood now. As you can see, Emily's lovely Paw Patrol uh, towel. Um, you've got like a really cool be uh, bar. And I'll just pick the camera up. Um, let see if I can just pull across. Got a really cool looking bar over here, um, which is like... Um, it's got like kind of like booths for, I don't know, just like they've got like mattresses, like beds with pillows and you can sit in the sun or sit in the shade. I don't know what, I think it depends on the time of day. Um, you can kind of sit in there, but it's a really cool little bar area. We can fry a little bit closer to it and have a look. Uh, but yeah, like a really nice sort of, yeah, like it, it looks like you're in Hawaii. Um, um, you know, it's a really cool beach. And the guys are really friendly. We asked if we could fly the drone here. They were really cool with us flying. So um, really nice beach, um, really nice people in the beach as well. So run by really cool people. Um, you've got kind of volleyball over that way. Let me just turn. Um, right there, see if I can get it right. <laughs> it's because I've got my sunglasses on. It's harder to see. But yeah, you've got volleyball um, court you know, which people seem to be just coming up and playing on. I don't think you pay for that. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's a really cool beach. I like, really like it. Um, and Ravda's a very cool little town. Feels quite sort of premium holiday place. I should just take the drone up and have a look. Um, basically have a look over the coastline and just sort of show you, show you the beach and show you the, the, the town at the same time. Um, Let's have a look. So let's pick up the camera. And there we go. Yeah. So you can see like Ravda looks really nice there. It's like a really nice little town in Bulgaria. 
It's near Nassie Bar, so it's sort of like an ex it's almost like just right next to Nassie Bar. Uh, but yeah, we'll go down the beach and have a look. Um, it's a little bit of a breeze today, but I checked UAV forecast. All was good to fly. Looked like we were in a good place as well. Didn't look like there was any rules that prevented you flying here. So that's good. Um, let's have a look. Uh, but yeah, look, you got like a nice pier that kind of juts out over there. We're in a kind of weird little beach at a cove. I'll try and show you that in a second when I come back round. Uh, but yeah, we'll try and do a droney as well away and maybe Maybe it'll be like one of our first dronies actually on a beach with us waving <laughs> to the <laughs> waving to the drony. We usually like kind of talk about other people doing that uh, with this drone. But yeah, just going off down the beach, no problem. I might go only as far as that pier and then just give you a view of the Black Sea there. That's really cool. You've got some boats out and about. You've got like kind of speed boats and stuff. I don't think we'll be able to keep up with those. So let's have a look around. But look, yeah, people out on speed boats i've seen people wind surfing i think or kite surfing or no idea but i've seen boats i've seen speed boats it's uh yeah there's a lot going on here for a holiday really i mean we're not doing any of that of course um we're in an all-inclusive resort up the road um which is also really cool but the, but it's well worth because it's really near this really cool beach so it's well worth coming and having a look but yeah i'm going to bring it down try and go down towards our beach I'll just show you this little beach here but yeah i i don't know if that the whole area is olympic hope beach i think it is i think this whole like stretch is their beach so it's well cool i'll just show you the the bar as we come down let's just come down let's just go up a bit really cool bar there really like yeah it's a really nice place then you got the beach over there. Just go up a bit. We don't want to go too close. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a lovely beach. I mean, it really is. But yeah, what I want to try and do is come back round. Um, and what I want to do is I want to do a droney away from myself on a beach. <laughs> because we, we, we don't usually get to actually do it on a beach. That's kind of what the dronies are usually used for. See, like people on a beach, so even I think the DJI app, I think they show you a drony being done on the beach. But yeah, so you can, yeah, we'll go out over the water here. Ah, it's looking really good. And the, and the Mini 2 is just handling it perfect. We got the Femi out previously, um, Femi X8 Mini, and I don't know, just I've got real problems with the lens on that. I, it's all steamed up. I don't seem to be able to fix it. I'm going to have to see what I can do I've tried putting it in like silica I put it in a case with the silica it hasn't hasn't worked I mean to be honest the GoPro is doing the same thing which is a bit annoying but at least it's only on a screen and not on a lens so but yeah just come back round to the beach here yeah it's kind of weird little cove that's that's the that's the strange thing it's like a lovely little cove I really like it <laughs> it's like a very odd little beach but you know cool really that's what you want isn't it so let's go back up and move away. Right, let's go near to where we are again. And I want to try and do a droney. I can hear the drone coming down behind me. Basically, yeah. So I want to bring a drone down over near me and I want to do a droney away from us. Yeah, it's doing, doing good. Okay, that's us. And I'll just check that the camera is pointed in the right position. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to go into the menu and you want the quick shot menu and you want to do droney and I'm going to set it to like, I don't know, I'm going to do something like 60 meters because I always think it doesn't go that far. Right, you can actually just tap on yourself because it will recognize people. So you tap on yourself, click start, and then you kind of get ready to wave it away. This is how the professional YouTubers wave away, like, um, you know, the drones when they're waving away. Sorry, my eye was just caught there by some uh, little kids on the beach having a beer. It's a relaxed attitude, it's good. Right, okay, so it's going to, they're not that little. I think they're like kind of 17, 18 probably. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, right, yeah, it's going away, droney, wave it away. There we go. 
And now it's coming back in again, I think. No, no, it's just about to come back in, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Right, now there's a guy walking across. Let's hope that he doesn't, I don't think it will come into his path. It's not, it's gonna be higher than him. Certainly higher than him. Hey, and it's come back, it's come back closer. It came back closer than we were. Like I, it was further back and higher before. So it, it definitely, it doesn't, it doesn't like do anything with the absolute precision, um, but it does it well. I mean, it's a good drone, isn't it? We all know that. The, the Mini 2 almost speaks for itself, really. It's just one of those really dependable drones. So let's go up. Actually, I think you can see those girls that I was talking about. Okay, so let's go up, up and away from the beach. Such a cool, such a cool location to film in. I mean, just so nice. Everybody's having a great time on the beach. No one's bothered about the drone being around them. You know, I've asked people like, are you happy for me to be here? They like it, you know, just so much, I don't know, so different to the UK where people are just very sort of, mm, I don't really want, uh, you're not meant to be flying here. You know, they just don't want anything to go on. Really, they just don't, they're jealous people. Yeah, that's, that's just the, the facts, I think. They don't like anything going on that they're not like somehow doing themselves or well they just don't like anything going on <laughs> that seems to be the way anyway right okay so let's come back round right so we're only 30 meters up i think we're good can we see the pier can we see the pier right i want to get my signal right and let's just turn a bit i want to turn i want to back off the pier a bit really just give you a view of the, I want to give you a view of Ravda kind of from the sky. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking really good. So we've got a good view, just to give you a good overview from out to sea really of what Ravda looks like. Maybe I can go up and just kind of give you a good view down. So you look at the boats, I think there might be jet skis and all sorts going on but yeah you can see but yeah look at that it's looking pretty good let's just turn and see let's give you a good view that's back down in the middle there's our beach um, olympic hope beach there look at that boat go across there is that a boat i can't pick it out on this um screen but that's just moving so fast that this mini two would not keep up with that so but yeah just give you an overview of where we are because sometimes I think when you're here, you can sort of like, it's hard to convey exactly what everything looks like and you think you've done it, but you can't really show people 100%. So it's always good to kind of go back and, and film it really, like get a good overview of the area. So yeah, it's, it, it, this kind of Ravda, I think it connects into Nessie Bar and then it's Sunny Beach further up, which is kind of like the major resort you know, Sunny Beach is the big resort up the road and that's where the kind of Ibiza of Bulgaria is. So, you know, if that's how it's, uh, that's, that's how I've heard it described, the Ibiza of Bulgaria. Um, this area here is a bit more sort of family friendly and, you know, it's a, it's a little bit quieter. It's not as, it's not sort of um, raucous, let's say, but they've got a cool beach, you know, keep, I don't know what it's like late at night at this bar over here. Maybe it's pretty good. Maybe there's a big party life here, I don't know. It certainly feels like, you know, they've got music going, it's got good atmosphere, it's, it's a good place. I really like it. Right, so, oh, the guys are not paying me to say this, by the way. <laughs> if anyone asks, they just basically said, you know, they just came over and told me the name of the beach. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. All right, here we go, so. Look at that. Yeah, look at this beach. I mean, I hope that this comes out as good in the footage. In fact, it won't come out good in the footage because we haven't turned the camera back on. So hang on, here we go. Let's do the video again. And we're going to have to go back out to sea and we're going to have to do it all again because you didn't see it. But I think you saw quite a lot, but I'm going to go back out and I will show you the I will show you the overview again because although you might be able to see it from the screen recorder footage, I think it's better if we show you it. Let's just go over the bar area as we go over. 
Yeah, that's cool. That's well cool. I'm just going to take it back up again. The camera up. And I want to go up a bit. I want to go back out and around. It's hard when, you, when you're working with the sea. It's usually quite hard to <laughs> see exactly what you're doing. But let's see. Yeah, see, I'm right back out there again now, I think. So let's, let's go up and back. I want to go back again. No, sorry, I want to go this way, really. Yeah, I don't know. It's something about going out to sea that makes it hard to see what you're doing. So let's let's go out a bit. And then I want to turn around. I want to turn around nice and... Can I turn around and sort of give you a view of Ravda? Hopefully you're getting a good view of it this time. And you'll be able to see a better view of it, so... Yes, that's, a, uh, that's Olympic Hope Beach there, kind of jutting out like a kind of hook. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's been a nice, been a nice trip, actually. Uh, there we go, right, so what I want to do, I want to back off even further. But in fact, I want to come back round. Let's come back round this way. Let's go out towards the pier again. And then I think we want to turn around and have a look. Yeah, that's one thing to watch out for when you're doing doing anything with a DJI drone. To do the kick, the quick shots, you have to like kind of turn off your main recording and then do the quick shots separately, um, which can be quite a pain because as you saw there, I forgot to turn back on the recording. So, you know, these, these things don't happen by mistake, although by mistake, <laughs> it kind of was a mistake, but but it's an issue where you where you where you can easily forget to turn something back on. Whereas like on the Femi drones, you seem to be able to have the recording going even when you're doing any of these sort of smart flying features. So okay, so we're out by the pier again. Just want to kind of pan to the side and just have a look and give you a sort of view. Let's see how that looks. I think what I might do is stick it in cinematic mode once I've done one sweep and just see if that makes any difference. You know, I don't, I always find the default sort of DJI settings a bit, um, I don't know, I just find them a bit kind of, like even cine smooth isn't that smooth, you know? Right, here we go, let's see. This is, I'm being as light as I can on the sticks. So hopefully we're getting a good pan across I hope this is cinematic. I hope this is this has been worth it. But I don't know. I find the DJI settings just a little bit too. Um, don't know. Just they they're a bit sort of urgent. You know. I'm going to point the the cat uh, the controller out that way because um, I was just pointing it slightly wrong direction there, and so the signal was a bit low. So we had a little bit of break up. But yeah, I'm trying to be as careful on the sticks as possible. That's kind of how you achieve the cinematic um, looks. Uh, but yeah, I think we're giving you a good overview here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's gone, that's gone okay, I think. I think we've managed to sweep. There's quite a long coastline as well, so there's a lot to sweep around, really. So, you know, and it's doing it pretty well. But yeah, that's, that's cine mode, and that's doing okay. So pretty happy with that. Yeah, and it goes all the way out over there, which I'm guessing is like part of Nessie Bell. Right, yeah, so it's telling me to come to, come back to home, which is quite cool. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in normal mode, I think. Oh, hang on, that's canceled the return to home, so there we go. I was a little bit worried then. I thought, ah, oh, sometimes when you cancel return to home, it won't then let you to re return to home again. So, um, I would have had to have flown it back manually, um, but here we go. Yeah, it's coming back and we need it to return to home anyway. The cool thing is in return to home mode, you still have control of your, you know, of your sticks. So you can, you know, control the camera. You can control, you know, what the drone is doing when it's coming back. Now that's a new feature that DJI put in place and it's kind of a pseudo um, like kind of second pilot because some of the like kind of more advanced camera drones that they would use on films and stuff 
have like this ability for two pilots. So one person's controlling where it goes, the other person's controlling the camera. Um, obviously you don't really have that on these sort of low, like kind of beginner consumer drones. Um, but you know, with this, you are getting a sort of pseudo, um, you know, you can set it to return to home um, and then use it to sort of like, you know, you, you couldn't get it to come back nice and smooth in one straight line and then kind of move your camera around. You can get backwards flying shots that way. It's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, some nice pulls and stuff about. Just over that way, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm really surprised by how nice Ravda is because when, you, when you're at the resort that we're in, and again, we're going to do a video of us at the resort, and that will be on a separate channel. That'll be on a kind of like family channel. Um, but we'll, we'll put a link in, the, in this video to it. Um, I will have to cancel it from landing um, because it won't land where I want it to do. But yeah, when you're in the... Um, when you when you're in these resorts you kind of don't get a sense of what's you know like it was quite like scrub landy around it there wasn't really anything around the resort um but actually when you come down the road a little bit there's like a whole decent town and you know it's sort of a little bit more i'm just trying to i'm just concentrating a little bit here to get it bang on the pad so we've got that bang on in the middle there so we're well happy with that that's good Unfortunately, it doesn't come with precision landing and from experience on my mini, my original mini one, you really, really, uh, yeah, I'll leave the recording on for a second. But with my original mini one, I got sand in there um, because I flew again in Bulgaria on a beach in Varna and, and I had a problem with, with sand getting in there. So you, you need to make sure that your pad's nice and clean. If you're going to fly on the beach, make sure your pad's nice and clean of sand and, you know, have a pad. Really good tip is to use padlocks like I've done to basically weigh down the pad. I always use padlocks now. I, I hate the little kind of, you know, tent peg style sticks. I, I, they get muddy. They're no good. I, I prefer having some padlocks. And actually, another sort of life hack or drone life hack, you can fold up your pad with the padlock still on, put them in the, in the case, it all works fine. You know, you don't need to take the padlocks on and off like I've been doing for the last sort of year or so um, you can you can just leave the padlocks on I found that out in the last few days um, but yeah I just think like like I was saying at, at the at the uh, resort we're staying at which is up the road it's a bit of a wasteland around it you don't really get there are some nice apartments near it so that gives you a bit of an idea where you are but you don't really fully get a sense of like like the nice town that's nearby you know um and until you kind of come down the like kind of scrubland road and uh, way down to this area you realize that there's some lovely beaches some lovely bars um you know and this beach is really cool olympic hope beach um you know it's i don't know i, re I really like it down here it's kind of completed the holiday for us because you know we were just in the resort and we were just spending all our time in the resort so coming down here you've got something extra basically for your stay at the resort so that's cool you know it's always good to get more than what you bargained for isn't it so um yeah so mini 2 flew well again um looked all good the beach looked really good i think i had a nice overview of what was going on i i it was difficult for me to see with sunglasses the you know it's a bit dim for me i mean but but if i take my sunglasses up a bit it's definitely a good picture on this it's quite easy to see uh, that's one criticism I have of the Femi X8. I couldn't really see on the screen exactly what was going on when I flew that. But on the Mini 2 and the Air 2S, I can see it's nice and bright. I can see the picture really well. So I don't know why that is. I don't know why DJI do such a good job at that. But yeah, great beach. So if you're ever in Bulgaria, you're ever in sort of this area, definitely worth coming down here. We're really glad we did. So yeah get this drone turned off I think and um, yeah thanks very much for watching I really appreciate you watching the videos you know we, we, we're kind of always surprised that you bother to watch our videos so thank you very much for watching um, you've been great if you could like the video that would be great it would really help us out if you could subscribe even better share to your friends thanks very much we'll see you again in the next one